hello and welcome back this is dmac and today i thought i'd do a video on the american lock uh, 1100 padlock um bit of a milestone lock for a lot of pickers this one um, because it's a good introduction to security pins with um, the serrated spools and the serrated pins that you get up there you get lots of good feedback in these and um, yeah this video is aimed at someone who is just starting to pick these and perhaps wants a few tips on how to do it so this is my approach it's not the right approach but it's what works for me um, and you just got to find what works for you so let's just have a look at that keyway it's it is actually really wide open um, and for that reason I would use a deeper hook uh, and pick off the bottom and also use a top of the keyway tensioner there and that allows us, once you get used to using these, it allows you to play with the entire space um, at, the, at the bottom of the keyway and what that can mean if you've got a key such as this, we've got a couple of low set pins there can see on uh, two and um, four is that the uh, the pick can kind of sneak underneath those and we can lift it up and we can get that high set one there if you use a bottom of the keyway tensioner I find like that we're using up a lot of that room at the bottom of the keyway and that means your hook choice is near limited so if we see if I slide this in I can slide it all the way in and out without touching any of the pins if I raise it slightly you can hear I start hitting the pins. So if I'm using top of the keyway, I can get access to the bottom of the keyway nice and easily, zip past any uh, low pins like these two. If I'm using the bottom of the keyway, if I put this wrench in, we've used up some of that space now with a wrench, and now if I try and slide the pick in, I can't slide him in without hitting the pins, as you can hear. So that's why I tend to avoid those if I can help it and pick top of the keyway. So let's just have a look at a couple of the pins that you'll find inside here. Um, let's grab some tweezers. I've got one stripped down there. As I say, you've got a combination of serrated pins at the top, as you can see, lots of fine serrations on there. Um, and what they will mean is that you'll get several clicks, uh, possibly before those these pins will set. And the other pin that you'll find at the top is the serrated spool, if I can get that in focus. Um, so yeah, you've got the spool section in the middle there, and you've got serrations top and bottom. So again, that will give you little clicks as you try and set them. Um, so yeah, my approach to these is to use quite heavy tension. Uh, the hook that I like to use is a medium hook, and this one is a Sparrow's Monkey Paw, and it's one with a little notch at the top and I find that it just in this keyway this is quite a wide quite a thick pick I think it's 23 thousandths or 25 thousandths I'm not sure but it fits in the keyway quite nicely um, and that little notch means that you get good placement on all of those pins which helps you to sort of understand where you are you know pin one pin two pin three pin four pin five it, it just gives you a little positive click when you're on the bottom of those um, key pins and helps you to know where you are it sort of locks on there um, so that's the one I would use. I'd use quite, I use quite heavy tension when I pick um, initially um, until I've set all of the serrated pins, until I, well, until I get to the spools really. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. So yeah, top of the keyway um, and then the monkey paw personally or you know a medium hook that's going to allow us to sort of slide along the bottom of the keyway um, and just sort of lever off the bottom of the keyway to set those pins. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get uh, some 1100s set up in the vise and we'll pick through them and uh, yeah, see what we encounter. Okay, so we've got all these uh, 1100s uh, set up in the vise. Uh, this is my current uh, 1100 padlock uh, collection. Um, you don't need to pick them in the vise, they do uh, fit quite nicely in the hand, so it's just for the purposes of this video it's easier for me to keep them all still and in frame um, while we sort of pick through them and um, discuss what we've got. So yeah, as I said, top of the keyway, I've got the monkey paw there, we're just going to start left to right and pick through and sort of see what we've got. So I'm going to use quite heavy tension, um, reason being um, what I like to do with 1100s is click through the serrations until we hit the full set. And then after hitting the full set, we play a nice little game uh, called Hunt the Spool. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do here. So when I say heavy tension, it's difficult to kind of 
relay what that is really. I mean, I'm not wrenching on this to the point where I'm going to bend uh, the tensioner up here uh, completely, but it's, it's going to have a little bit of flex in it there. And then we're going to ease up to some very light tension uh, in just a minute. So heavy tension, I'm going to start at the front and that pin is binding. And we got a nice click there on that first pin. So then we go to the next pin. I think that was three. And then back to the front. And that was a click there, I think it was on four, and we dropped into a little bit of a full set. Uh, that just means the tension wrench has kicked over a bit and hopefully we're on the spools now. Um, so I'm going to ease right back on that tension and try and find where those spools are. So that's two. As you can see, as I hit as I hit two, as I'm lifting two, that tension wrench is pulsing backwards, counter rotating. So what I'm going to do is allow myself to hit that spool. And sorry, the, the, the tension at the moment is feather light. I mean, I could knock this out of my grip quite easily. So where were we? One. It's on two. So as I'm lifting that pin, the tension wrench is counter rotating, uh, and these have really strong spring tension on them. So after you hit this, after you've found the spool and lifted it, you want to kind of give it a pulse to make sure that you haven't accidentally opened it. I know a lot of us. Um, I think I'm on four now, and we've got another bit of counter rotation when I lift the pick. The tension wrench lift, wrench lifts up. So I set that one, and there we go. That's the open on that one. What you find quite often is that you'll pick the you'll pick the lock, but you won't realise you've picked it because you haven't kind of. Um, pulse that tension um, so yeah again heavy tension until we, we've got to sort of try and get to those spools as a click on one and that was an overset on four and one a difference between an overset and setting a pin on the 1100 it's quite pronounced most of the times almost every time you set a pin you'll get a nice audible click and you'll feel that click on your tension wrench as well. If you get like a dull kind of feeling as the pin lifts, then that's an overset pin. And in, in that case, you will just reset it and uh, start again. So that's a click on one. That's a click on five. That was a click on two, and we got a full set there. Again, the tension wrench just moved a little bit. So now we're going to play hunt the spool. So again, ease up right on that tension, super light tension, I'm barely touching it there. Just enough pressure on my thumb to hold the tension wrench in. So one, two, three, and there you go, it's three. As I'm lifting three, tension wrench is lifting up. So we'll set that one. There we go, I'll give it a push, it's still not open. Oh, it is open, there you go. I didn't think it was open, but uh, yeah, we get that, giving it that extra pulse after you set the spools um, will help you uh, get them open. So again, we'll go for the same on this one. So a small click on one, small click on four, and that was an overset straight away on one. I felt it was a spongy feel as I set the pin. There was no audible click. It was a sort of spongy kind of feel. I think it's worth saying, sorry, I'm not really concentrating on what I'm doing on this one. Let me just get this one picked. So let's click on five, click on two. That was a click on, I think it was four, and we've dropped into that full set. So slighten up on the tension, try and find that spool. I think it's two. There we go. Big push after we've set the spool and it's open. So yeah, heavy, heavy uh, tension. Find the spool. Once you get that full set, the tensioner will slip over. That was exaggerated. And then you go super light tension and just find the spool. And when you touch the spool with your pick, uh, the pick will counter rotate. And then once you've set that spool, give the tension wrench another pulse uh, clockwise because you may find that it's just the spring tension. Uh, to overcome. Um, I was going to say, sorry, I, I have picked through these locks quite a lot. As I say, these are my practice locks. I don't know them by memory. 
um, but uh, I'm familiar with them, so that does help me kind of pick through these. Okay, nothing on one, two, three. There's a small click on five. I think we dropped into a full set then, it was very small. So I'm easing up on the tension, that's three. So I set three, and I give that tension wrench a pulse. We'll go back to the beginning. Super light tension, looking for that spool. I think it's one actually. So I'm hitting one now, see that counter rotation on the pin. And a quick push, and we've got that one open. There's a click on four or three. As I'm going through, I'm counting in my head one, two, three, four, five, put that back out again, one, two, three, four, five. And that kind of helps you know uh, where you are. I think a lot of new pickers um, struggle to know where they are in the lock, and that just, it just comes with practice, really. Um, two, three, four, five. I'm not getting much out of this one. Another click on one. And it felt like an overset on two. Now we can either reset completely, or we can just reset a little. Reset a little, um, and I felt I heard a pin drop down, so that's probably the one that we overset, which was two. I'm not getting much from this one. Let's start again. Four, five little clicks. That was three, a little click. Four, another little click. Click on one, click on two. Small click on three. I think that was another click on three, and we got the open there. I didn't feel any spools in that one. Sometimes I have noticed, I think one of these, maybe it is that one, they do sometimes just come with um, serrated pins, no spools, so you won't necessarily get the full set, you'll just get those clicks. In which case, you just stick with sort of stage one, which is giving it the heavy tension and looking for those clicks. Let's get this last one then. So heavy tension, feeling for binding pins, and a nice click. That was an overset. It was, again, that was a dull feeling. I'm going to reset completely. One, two, three, click. Two, click. And four, that felt like an overset. So I'm going to ease off the tension just a fraction. Click on one. And there's a click on five. Another click on one. Not got to any spool. Well, there we go. That was a click on two. And we got that one open. Didn't fill any full sets on that one. So yeah, that's my approach to picking 1100s. I'll just run through it quickly again. Um, heavy tension. Um, and find those binders. Click those through those serrations until you get to the point where you get that full set. That was exaggerated again. And then it's super light tension, and then it's a play the game of hunt the spool. Um, and after each time you set those spools, you'll know it because once your, your pick goes onto that pin that the spool is, you'll get the counter rotation and then it'll set and move back again. And once you've set that, uh, that spool, give a pulse on the tension wrench to make sure you haven't opened the lock already. If the lock doesn't open, just go through again and you'll find another spool. Generally, I think the ones that have spools, I think you can have up to three usually in there. I've not come across one personally that's had five spools in it, um, or even four actually. I think I've just just come across them as three. I'm sure that maybe they're out there. Anyway, so that's how how I got picked through them. Hopefully, that's helpful to you. Um, and there's just one more thing that I wanted to add to this. Actually, you can see all that we've got all of these picked because on the 1100s, when you pop the shackle back in, just watch these keyways. They automatically spin back. You see there? I'm going to put all these, put all these shackles back in. And the keyway just rotates through 180 degrees. Oh, a bit fiddly to do without looking at what I'm doing. There we go. 
and I've seen a few posts on Reddit where new pickers have, you know, perhaps they've picked their first 1100 and they're afraid that they've near bricked uh, their 1100 and they're not sure which way to turn the keyways. On an 1100, when you pop the shackle back through, that key, the, the keyway, sorry, the plug spins through 180 degrees and ends up in this position. Now it won't rotate um, uh, counterclockwise, but it will rotate clockwise and you're perfectly safe. Uh, to be able to do that, there we go. So that's back into the position ready to be picked again. So you just rotate them uh, clockwise. As I say, you can't rotate them counterclockwise. Uh, has to be clockwise. And there you go. So the, you can't really brick these. With the uh, Master Lock 410, they can be bricked. You do have to be careful. You can dump all the pins out, brick the lock, and ruin it. But even if you do that, you then join the Rattle Club, and uh, that's an exciting club to be part of. Um, but anyway, that's my uh, approach to picking 1100s. I hope that if you're um, picking through uh, one of these right now, that can be um, be of assistance to you. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now, and stay safe.